What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the Vita Homebrew Browser. Now this is the mod currently, the latest release. We also have the latest release of the Auto Plugin in Vita Shell. Okay, so now we will start with the Vita Homebrew Browser. So we go to PSX Place. Now these news are the most recent one. Now this is the home store for your exploited PS Vita, PlayStation TV, known as the Vita Homebrew Browser, VHBB, has received an official mod which adds new host, which is the Vita Homebrew Wiki to supply the downloads. As we know, the Vita Homebrew Browser had not been working for a very long time due to disagreement with one Lua developers, but now this mod is currently working and we will test out all the firmwares for the PlayStation Vita. As for the changelog for the Vita Homebrew Browser mod 0.83, it added support to Wiki Homebrew Server, which is awesome. So now we can go ahead and download from GitHub for the developer Davis Nunez. So we get the VPK. Now we will go ahead and go to the Flow's GitHub for Vita Show version 1.98. And we also will get that VPK. You can also read on what the change logs had been. I know that we're all patiently awaiting for the 3.70 hack for the PlayStation Vita. The cool thing is that the Vita shell has been updated to support it. Okay, so another great developer, the Hero GAC. Always the auto plugin is being updated, which is amazing. We get the latest and the greatest. As you guys can see, 3.74. So we get that VPK. You guys can go ahead and read the changelog. You guys can see that Team One Lua is assisting on many projects. So I'll go ahead and leave those links in the description. Now we connect our PlayStation Vita through Vita Show via the USB. And we're going to get all our applications that we downloaded. And we're going to copy them to the PlayStation Vita. Okay, so that's all we need. So we move on to the PlayStation Vita. Now within the PlayStation Vita using Vita Show, we're going to install the Auto Plugin VPK. So if you agree to the message, you just select OK. Now we will go ahead and install the Vita Homebrew Browser mod. You guys can see it's version 0.83. OK, so we will install it. Now for Vita Shell, if you try to install it via Vita Shell, you will get an error and you guys will see it right now. If you don't have it installed, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description so that you can install it via Molecular Shell. If you don't have Molecular Shell as well, in my video I will show you. But if you already have Vita Shell installed, Auto Plugin and other applications, once you launch it and you're connected to the network, it will prompt you for a new update. So that's the easiest way, but if you're having trouble how to install it, then I'll go ahead and leave those links in the description. So that's pretty cool. We got the new updated Vita shell, which is awesome. So now we're going to test the Vita Homebrew Browser mod with our PlayStation Vitas. I have on the left top corner 3.68, 3.65 Hencore or Encore, 3.65 Enso, and 3.60 Enso. So we launched the Vita Homebrew Browser. I know that the first initial release was having problems and I wanted to test this out. As you guys can see, all the PlayStation Vitas on different firmwares are launching the Vita Homebrew Browser, which is awesome. Okay, so now we will try to download one of our utilities. And I think that this is a very powerful tool so that we can get homebrew right away to the PlayStation Vita. So I'm going to download the Vita Forecast. Okay, so you guys can see the 3.60, 3.65 is downloading, the 3.65 Enzo as well, and 3.68. So now everything had been downloaded, which is awesome and it's amazing. So now we will check our application to see if it's working. As you can see, we have the Vita Forecast. 
So I'm gonna try all of them at the same time, but I failed. So we will launch them. Okay, this is awesome. Of course, you need the network to use this. So they are all working, which is amazing. I am excited for the Vita Homebrew browser. I truly have been missing this application. I think it's one great application for all our homebrew centralized in one location. So guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Game of Rebirth, out.